What's your favorite animal? Eric Carl and friends. Cats, Eric Carl. I have always liked all animals, but cats are my favorites. I have a photograph of myself when I was three years old, holding a couple of kittens, and I'm sneezing. I must have been allergic to them, but my mother claimed I had a cold. Later, when I was grown up, Fifi lived with me in my Greenwich Village, New York City walk-up. Fifi was a long-haired black beauty. One day, when I was peeling string beans in the kitchen, she showed great interest in my task. After a while, she even began to meow ever so slightly. It sounded like begging to me. Finally, I threw a string bean down the long hallway. Fifi chased after it, fetched it, and returned it to me. Again, I threw the string bean down the hallway. Finally, after many chases, Fifi picked up the string bean, ignored me, and walked into the closet. She placed it into a shoe of mine. Then she curled herself around the shoe and went to sleep, guarding the string bean. Giraffe, Tom Lichtenheld. Though meeting a giraffe is rare, you must be prepared not to stare. They're easily amused, so don't be confused. Just say, hey, how's the weather up there? Mole Willems. My favorite animal is an Amazonian. New tropical, lower rink, tink, tink. It is also the snake's favorite animal. Blue carp, Peter sees. I'm from the Czech Republic where people eat carp every Christmas Eve. It is a tradition. Just before the Christmas holidays, giant barrels with live carp are set up in the streets so people can buy one and bring it home fresh. There, they let the carp swim in the bathtub until Christmas Eve. The carp would look all blue and lonely in the bathtub. And we, the children, would be fascinated and give her a name and try to put our little fingers in her toothless breathing mouth. What usually happened on Christmas Eve when the carp is supposed to become a dinner was that the children would cry, go on strike, and finally the carp would be taken by the whole family to the river Vltava and released. You would see many families coming with their carps to the river and blue fish swimming towards the ocean. This gave us all hope. So my favorite creature of hope is the blue carp. I like the snail. You may find her, or him, a little ugly, too squishy. But all her life she works at her craft, adding to it day by day, until when she dies, she leaves us something of great beauty. Chris Rushka. Behold the octopus. Octopuses are amazing. The more I learn about them, the more I admire them. Giant Pacific octopus. For instance, they're masters of camouflage. They have these things called chromatophores in their skin that can not only change their color when they want to hide, but can change their texture too. Mimic octopus hiding in as sand. When they need to escape, they can squirt ink into the water to create a distraction and get away. Common octopus. Octopuses have three hearts. Three. Two hearts to pump blood to. Excuse me, kitty, I'm working here. Their lungs. And the third to pump blood everywhere else. Blue ringed octopus. And boy, are they smart. Kitty, please, you're in the way. Octopuses are hard to keep as pets because they are so good at escaping any tank. Atlantic white spotted octopus. The female octopus can lay as many as 150,000. Hey! Okay, kitty. What's the problem? I see. You're jealous. Is it because I chose an octopus instead of a cat as my favorite animal? No? Hmm. Oh, now I get it. You're angry because I was asked and not you. Okay then, kitty. What's your favorite animal? Meatloaf? Meatloaf is not an animal. Try again. Eric Carl? Your favorite animal is Eric Carl? Eric Carl is not an animal. Well, arguably, I guess he is. But kitty, this shameless flattery is just not... Wait, did... Did Eric Carl just send you a present? What is it? A meatloaf? Eric Carl just sent you a meatloaf? Hmm, this gives me an idea. Gobble, slurp, gulp. 
Dear Eric Carr, You are my most favorite author. Sincerely, Nick Brewer. P.S. Please send me an octopus. Bunnies. Peter McCarty. We have a bunny. I can't believe this bunny. It eats out of his favorite ceramic bowl, drinks from a water dispenser, and poops and pees in a litter box. I thought we might get a guinea pig, but this guy is no guinea pig. When he's happy, he jumps straight up into the air and kicks his feet. His name is Mr. Hopper, and he is a real member of our family. He even chases after the dog and cat when he wants to play. A dog on my bed, Rosemary Wells. A dog on my bed, right next to my head. A little bit fuzzy, a little bit fat. Nothing is more important than that. Position one. Position two. Position three. Position four. Position five. Elephant. Lane Smith. I was trying to decide what my favorite animal was when an elephant reminded me that pachyderms were my favorite. I asked, "What's a pachyderm?" The elephant said, "It's an elephant." I said. Why didn't you just say elephant? Elephants are my favorite animals, but sometimes they are show-offs. Duck, John Classen. Most times, when you see a duck in a story, is not very smart. Usually, it's in the middle of falling for a trick somebody is playing on it. But I like ducks. I like watching them walk around. Horses. Susan Jeffers, my sister and I shared a room when we were little, and we have shared a lifelong love of horses. In the summer, our parents would put us to bed while it was still light out. After having a child of my own, I understand why now. We would talk each other to sleep. One of our favorite topics was what color horse would we choose if we could have any horse in our fantasy pasture. Judy loved Palominos, golden colored with white mane and tail. I could never decide between the deepest black or the purest white. I usually went with pure white. Cows, Stephen Kellogg. As a boy dreaming of becoming an artist, I drew and painted animals constantly, and I wallpapered my room with the pictures. My older sister had claimed horses as her favorite animal, so I chose cows. I suspected that the cows in my drawings came to life during the night because there was a place at the top of my head where the hair stood up that my grandmother said was a cowlick. After a few years had passed and I could ride my bike far beyond our neighborhood, I looked for jobs taking care of animals. No one had cows, but I was very happy when the owners of some beautiful English setters asked me to work in their kennel. Penguins, Erin Stead. I have been known to say that I like animals more than people. It's not really true. I love people, but sometimes being around them makes me feel shy and nervous. I never feel uncomfortable around animals, though. An animal I really like to be around and watch is the penguin. If I visit a zoo, I can't wait to spend some time at the penguinaria. There are so many different types of personalities to see. I like how penguins seem confidently awkward on land, but then glide so swiftly and expertly underwater. I think I relate to that a little. Leopard, Lucy Cousins. I love leopards because yellow is my favorite color, and their spots are so beautiful. The end.